Hey guys, a bit of Taku here, and yes, I know I've been kind of um, dormant, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, there's been a lot of um, anime shows going on and stuff, and yeah, I'm gonna get to making those videos. I have a video, a few videos already recorded, and I just need to edit them. So this live stream is to talk about pretty much. Wait, hold on, give me one second, because I've been having a lot of trouble with this. All right, yay, it's presenting the way I want it to. So yeah, we're going to be looking over some of the anime that are going to be playing this summer. And maybe, I don't know, maybe some of them will be amazing. Um, I'm still, I don't know, this is the first time I did um, a live stream thing. Um, so I'm not sure um, how to see the chat or anything like that. So, um, give me a moment for that. All right, and then we'll, as soon as I figure that out, then we'll continue on, and maybe I could see what you guys recommend, so I can add this to my watch list from all of these anime coming up this summer. Some of them are already starting too, so that's also something else to keep in mind. Uh, okay, I think if I go to the watch page, I can. Okay, yes. And then, is there a way to pop out this chat? No, there isn't, so I'll guess I'll just, um, eh? Okay, well, if I see you guys post something, I'll reply to that. Anyways, so let's look over some of these anime shows that are going to be playing this summer. Um, I'm, a lot of people, I don't know, well, I never told you guys, but I'm pretty picky when it comes to anime. A lot of the times I really consider comedy one of the key goals of keeping me in intact with the anime because you know pure action isn't really that much of entertainment i guess well i i know i'm on the minority here so don't attack me um i'm hoping this video can go up normally but yeah i think it, i find it easier when i make a live video for you guys because i guess you guys get to see the real me in some sense all right so i'm just gonna be looking at some of these shows and looking over um what they mean so for example i'm gonna click on charlotte and this one and uh, probably this one and i'm just gonna read over the description and i guess we can um yes i know most of you are do da 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 fans so they i've been constantly told to watch it so i will it's next on my list if i was to show you guys my freaking list of enemies that i have to see oops oh i dare did i say it don't kill me just kill me call me k kill whatever um so yeah anime series sorry it's still a habit that i'm trying to get used to that apparently you can't put an s in the end of anime so yeah it's still a habit that i'm trying to break anyways let's get on with this let's look at let's start in nbc order right so let's shift these tabs around and let's see what this story is about the story of the original manga revolves around shirayuki a beautiful girl working as a medicine woman who has red hair which is very rare in her country apparently which she proposed which she is proposed and chased after by a prince of her country she runs away only to meet zen the prince of a neighboring country finding respect for the young man decides to serve as at his side as his court doctor okay uh who's who's funding this anime bones hey wait isn't wait i think bones is the one who made uh soul eater wasn't it hold on i'm kind of curious about this i thought i didn't know that um they were still making anime well i haven't heard but i'm just kind of curious hold on give me a second Ooh, we're investigating together. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think they are actually. Wait, I don't see Soul Eater. Oh, there it is. How did I not see it? So Bones did make Soul Eater. Oh, and they made Space Dandy. You know, actually, I'm not that surprised that the art style kind of matches like what they've done in the past. Um. I want, they haven't really made that many shows, I mean, compared to, like, Kado... What it, what's that one studio called? Kado Kawa? Studios who have been pretty much... It's their reason that most of the anime shows that we have right now exist. 
Um, I'm pretty sure they've been, um, Bones has probably probably been living off the royalties of Soul Eater still because that Soul Eaters and Space Dandy and it, um, yeah, those those enemies pretty much enemies. Oops, oops, I keep doing it. I'm sorry. Don't stab me. It's a habit I'm trying to break. Um, those two, that studio pretty much has it set for a while and they're gonna have to be cranking it up because Soul Eater and um, Space Dandy are over and I don't think those royalties are gonna last that long okay so we have clarified actually I'm kind of curious to see what this anime is going to be about um, obviously there's no reviews in seven days interesting oh July 7th the day after my birthday drama fantasy oh Mm, the comedy isn't isn't a priority. Wait, total? Does that mean how many episodes? Hmm. We'll find out when we click on another one. And this one is another interesting looking one. I hope you guys watch some of these with with me and follow me on Twitter or something, because uh, you know, it's I'm pretty sure most of you guys are aware that it's pretty hard to find someone to talk about certain anime shows with, because let's face it. Most of the people who watch anime, well, not you guys, obviously, because you guys are watching the same shows as me, but since you're watching my videos, of course, but um, most of them are probably um, watching just the main series like Naruto. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't want to really get into this topic right now, but I personally don't think there's anything wrong with whatever anime you watch. Um, so, this manga, oh wait, what? The manga follows a high school student, Hotaru Tachibana, a girl disguised as a boy. Through a strange circumstance, she finds herself drawn into a world of survival games by a host. This kind of sounds like, um, Hunger Games? Aim to be the best. At this one sounds kind of interesting. I hope there's action to it. I'm not going to click that video because I will get freaking flagged. I don't know if you guys know, but I feel bad for gamers who make videos on YouTube because even anime gets flagged, like, hardcore. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed that to, like, kind of crop it in a certain way. Especially in my anime review videos, I've been having to shift it and I put, like, a black color behind it and fade the video so that the black kind of loses some of the color so it makes it harder for YouTube to detect that video. Uh, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but, well, that's an issue there. And... I don't mind if my video gets flagged. I'd rather have people watch it. Rather, I mean, YouTube does don't don't. <laughs> you know, you always think that YouTubers make like a crap load of money. I'm not even a YouTuber yet. Well, I wouldn't consider a famous YouTuber, but um, I made like twenty cents this year, twenty cents. And let's if you take that into perspective, if it was. I mean, you can't tax 20 cents, but if you could tax 20 cents, you know how much you would get out of it? Probably like 15 cents. So, um, but I don't care. I do these videos because I, I'm happy that I can share similar experiences with you guys. Yay. So yeah. Um, let's see. Charlotte, the story centers around the special, the special abilities that occur among all small percentage of boys and girls in puberty. So. Uh, uses power without others knowing, lives a fairly normal average school life before him suddenly a girl appears. Now Tomori, due to his meeting of afraid of special powers, will be exposed. Uh, July 5th. A lot of these anime shows are going to start around the same time, so... If you guys don't start the same time as me, you guys are going to get flooded. It's going to be on Crunchyroll. Wait, what about this one? No! Will it be on Hulu? Man. Well, wait, what about. Oh, shoot. I'm pretty sure Crunchyroll will grab these two. Um, I can't guarantee it because obviously the links aren't there. Um, also, Hulu usually gets the most anime shows, and I just want to let you know that if you watch it there, you support the anime. Um,. I know I had like this whole video about bootleg anime and trust me, I'm not going to blame if you don't like they make it. 
put it like this family you can watch on tv can you watch half the anime shows on tv no so i'm not going to blame you if you don't use the service i'm not getting paid to tell you i'm just some anime shows i really want to continue um wait okay I, mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have like a certain art style I like to pick. Oh, it has like the dates of when they're going to start. Can you? You probably can organize it by the the date, but I'd rather see it in ABC. I'm pretty sure everyone's losing their minds. They're, gonna be, they're probably going to tell me, are you going to watch the new Dragon Ball? Oh my God. Is it going to be the best show ever? Blah, 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 blah. We'll read and we'll see. Because I, I'm not, I watched Dragon Ball when I was very young. So um, to add on. When I finally started really getting into anime GT, Dragon Ball GT kind of just like killed it for me. This is a personal opinion. I don't know. I can't really remember what did it. It's been so long since um since that anime aired, right? I mean, it was like when Toonami first, you know, started around the second time with like the new animations and the ugly guy. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna click on that, and I would click on Duda Duda, but come on, guys, like. Okay, I know I haven't really officially started on the anime, but we know a lot. And same goes with Fate. I get so much stuff about Fate, but if somebody in the comments, if somebody for God's sake in the comments can organize for me um, the episodes, then I will definitely watch it. Also, dude, Silverlink, I'm so mad at you. You've messed so many things up for a lot of fans. But, so yeah. So I guess we shall watch Dragon Ball or something. Uh, let's go. Where did I put? Oh yeah, hold on. Sorry. The struggle of ABC order. Okay, we just read Charlotte. I'm definitely gonna watch Charlotte. That one looks interesting. I mean, uh, people are gonna say it looks generic or whatever. Blah blah blah. I hear that stuff all the time. So, um, that one looks interesting too. This one looks okay. The art style looks nice, but. You know, it's like every time an anime show comes out with a new style that you're not familiar with, you can't really get, judge it. Like, of course, these seem more familiar, like action anime with a story, um, apparently comedy too, so, oh, Slice of Life, this is my cup of tea, uh, Charlotte, it just looks, I'm pretty sure there's comedy in here, I don't really, it doesn't really say anything, does it, where is it, nope, it doesn't really say anything, but, Trust me, just look at it. Look at it! I also like, this says it all. And then I'm pretty sure that guy's pushing up his glasses in the background. Um, okay, so definitely watching, I'm not sure about this one yet. I'm about to read it, but this one and this one are definitely it. These two are gonna be watched. Um, so classroom crisis. Every time, okay, every time an anime show has a star, I don't know if I'm supposed to say Classroom Star Crisis, so I'm just going to say Classroom Crisis before I get killed by everybody. Um, so, a roman romantic comedy set in the near futuristic world of troubles and tribulations of high schoolers on salary, which aims to one day reach out into the stars. Humanity has colonized all planets. Oh, wow, that's kind of interesting. Um, the story of young high school hope Hopefuls is set in the 4th Tokyo in Japanese Martian Prefecture. So I guess they're in Mars? Um, okay. Um, is this supposed to be like comedy? Oh, okay. So, okay, I'm kind of interested in this. If it's, you know, I'm an isekoi sucker kind of guy. So, this will be on my watch list. Um, I just hope it's as good as it, it seems so far. Um, Oh, it has a Clara song. Okay, now I might, I might actually watch it. Just to, if... Okay, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to watch it. If the Clara song is good, then I will stick with the anime until I heard the song probably like three times. And if the anime isn't good, then I'll probably let it go. That happens usually. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan for anime opening songs. So, um, you got lucky. So let's go to Dragon Ball Cho. That's literally what you say, it, Cho. And Cho means like super. Oh, it says it right there. Wait, it says it right here. The only reason I know 
is because when I'm 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 learning I'm trying to learn some Japanese with my girlfriend and um basically like we I tell her like cho kawaii and um that means like super cute um I remember uh she she does like she makeup and like hair stuff so in her school like they had an event where like this girl came and she told me that she she told her cho kawaii and that's how she was like, oh, it is commonly used. So don't, don't stab me, everybody. Don't be like, oh. Anyways, so the first new Dragon Ball TV series story since Dragon Ball GT. I don't even know how Dragon Ball GT ended. So I hope, and I'm pretty sure a lot of pe other people don't know either. Because that show, personally, I thought it wasn't that good. Story is set a few years after the defeat of Majin Buu. I liked Buu, though, before he went all crazy. When the Earth has become peaceful once again. Everybody knows this show is probably going to live up to the hype because um, Dragon Ball fans are like diehard fans. It's probably going to live up to the hype up until I would say maybe if they do. Okay, here's the thing. Naruto is infamously known for those like basically five episodes in repeating almost like the same shit over and over again um dragon ball if you hated naruto because of those like fillers and those like long stands of nothing happening with just like scenery you would hate the original dragon ball um because they're i swear dude i all i gotta say and anyone can fight me on this whatever but all i have to say is one word frieza like that freaking fight scene took forever anyways so dragon ball show all right i'm gonna look into it i like the original dragon ball z i hated those like long fight scenes and i have a feeling that people are going to you know they, they, they won't hold up if they do it again so this is only my maybe um there, there's one thing i didn't really like about dragon ball though it was kind of like the art style well it has like an old kind of style for an anime so i hope i'm not a fan of the art so that's all i'm gonna say um i hope it holds up it looks like it probably could hold up it's just um it's because dragon ball has more than just an art style going for it i just hope it doesn't disappoint a lot of people so that's gonna be a maybe um i know guys i will start do da do da and i will start fate cl clack Glade, Glade. Um, I will. Um, let me just make sure. Okay, broadcast still going fine. I would say that if you guys can honestly comment like an outline for me, so that I can kind of know which to start watching first, because I don't really know where to start to tell you the truth. Um, so that would be very helpful if you guys can. Um, commented in one of my future videos or something. I don't know if YouTube live videos go up after or like decide whether it goes up. So yeah, um, someone please send me which. How do I start the Fate series? Cause I, it's so confusing. Um, you know, actually the gangster one. I was about to read the manga. So now it gives me more incentive to watch the anime first. I know people are gonna get mad. And, oops, hit the mic. Sorry, guys. This, oh, look, the minute went down. Oh, all the minutes went down on all of them. That was cool. Um, also, like, this one I already knew. Like, I already knew a couple of anime shows that I was going to watch. It was going to be this one, that one, this one, this. Basically, all of these down here. So, um, I didn't read the story about this. I mainly, uh, so I'm going to close some of these windows because there's so many. Don't worry, I'm still going to watch them. Um, the story revolves around four girls who decide to stay over school energetic, the energetic Yuki, uh, the center group of Rudy who brings everyone together, spacey school advisor, however the mysteries of the girl finds themselves, who finds survivors, and a zombie attack? Interesting. It's supposed to be funny, right? Hope it's cute, at least. Um, I'm kind of interested, because I haven't really, zombies hasn't really been done, aside from High School of the Dead, right? Which just boobs everywhere. That's all I'm gonna say. So, oops, 
Uh, so, Gangsta. And I guess let's look at that one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Okay. Uh, that one looks weird. Oh, wow. There's so many shows that look so appealing this time around. Because I made it, guys. Last... Um, this one's on my watch list. I know some of you guys like that one, so I don't want to know. I've got a message from someone who recommended to watch this one. Um, so I'll start that one when I get a chance. There's <laughs> just so many anime. Too many? Alright, so a gangster, gangster, shady, vile, filled with mate, with made men and pretty, petty thieves, make a cop. But, eh, horse, wait, what? Let me start from the beginning. In the city of Erga, wow, not making it easy to be read. A shady vial, I hope it says vial, fail? Filled with made men and pretty th petty themes, whores on the, on the make and cobs on the take. Oh, supposed to be like a quote. There are some deeds too, too dirty for even its jaded inhabitants to touch. Enter the handyman, Nick and Warwick, who take care of jobs no one else will handle until the day when a cop they know on the force requests their help taking down a new gang muscling on the territory of a top mafia family it seems like business and mayhem as usual but handymen are about to find that this job's a lot more than they bargained it's kind of interesting i've never seen that many anime sh shows slash series based on gangs um i think the closest we got well, it's actually a regular Magic High School, which is like, but, which is like straight up like gang involvement kind of, um, but in the future, so. The art looks cool. It kind of reminds me of, I might get mad, people might get mad, but it, just like, he kind of reminds me of like that One Piece guy who smokes a cigarette while in the US, doesn't he like, like a lollipop or something? Um, okay, this kind of, this anime I was already interested for, so, um. Because, don't you see? Action. Uh, Alright, so, I tell you so many good enemies this time around. Uh, gach gotcha man crowds in sight. We want to know about ourselves, about the fact that there's no society in our country, about society and people living in different worlds, feeling and reason, what is crucial, is thinking or not? Is thinking, not worrying? Modern people are too fast, we breathe shallow- what? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh, this doesn't explain really anything about the anime show. Um, wait, there's a prequel to this. Let's look at that really quick. Oh, okay, here we go. This makes a little better sense. Uh, the story is set in Japan in the early summer. Wait, oh wow, that's ironic. This anime is based on right now, I guess, supposedly, in Japan. That's kind of cool. Um... 180,000 people live in there. the second metropolis of, of the Tokyo era among the Gatchman warriors who fight special reinforced suits powered by NOTE or N-O-T-E, the manifestation of special spiritual powers in living beings. Free hallways. A consul council has scouted a group of individuals with latent powers to protect Earth from alien criminals in recent years, and the consul has assigned Gatchman warriors to deal with the mysterious entity known as Mess. Okay. That doesn't really explain a lot. The art style looks kind of nice. Alright, I probably will watch it. Uh, it. It got a sequel. Oh, it's on Hulu. And Crunchyroll, sorry. I, I usually like watching stuff on Hulu better. I just. I like their menu system better than Crunchyroll, which just like feels a little plain. Although, Crunchyroll, ah, it's so hard to choose. I would, okay, I'll put it like this. If, I don't know, it's so hard to pick. I'll tell you this though for sure. If I had money to pay for one, because I want free anime on both. If I had to money to pay on one, I'd probably pay it on Crunchyroll, not Hulu. Hulu is good, it has anime and everything. I don't really like the ad system. If I used to pay for it, you still watch ads if you pay. So I would recommend it. I don't know, it's so hard to choose, but then you get like certain series that you can only watch on Hulu. Like I did like Prime Face. Okay, this is a whole total thing. 
put it like this, I like both very much, so I kind of jump between both. <laughs> um, due to this conversation I just had, I probably will never get um, funded or whatever by one of these, because they're pretty much competing against each other. Alright, so this anime looks okay. Um, I'll consider it, I guess. The art style looks kind of nice. Um, it just is sci-fi, so I don't even know really much about it. Uh, if you guys have watched it and you guys can leave a comment or something about it, that'll be nice. Um, oh look, Nisekoi and um, that gun girl shooting from Sal. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. The military fantasy series begins with a gate that appears in Tokyo. Universe entry, but they get pours out monsters, knights, and middle aged Europe, and other fantasy like beings. They and they kill many of the citizens of Tokyo. The event is known as the Ginza Incident. Um, the government sends a small group of soldiers for Japanese self defense forces and the alternate world beyond the gate, led by an otaku soldier. Wait, otaku soldier? I think this is just action, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I might consider this one too. Um, when I say consider, I mean it'll be on my watch list. And if I finish all the other ones I really want to watch, then I'll watch this one. Okay. Uh, God Eater. This one was already on my list. Um, the war one I did want to watch, but the manga looked cooler. I don't, I don't know if you guys have read the manga for this one. I looked at some of the pictures, they look nice. Uh, nice. Very nice. Uh, I'll probably watch it though. It just, I'm looking at all the other anime shows. Oh wow, it's like really red right now, the sky outside. And that's just, if you guys live in California, and you guys look outside, it looks like really red, especially by South Bay. Anyways, um, God Eater was already an anime I wanted to watch. So, let's read just like that one paragraph right here. In the early 2050s, the known life forms called Oracle Cells begin their uncontrolled consumption of all life on Earth. Their ran <laughs> ravenous appetite and remarkable adaptability earned them first dread, then awe, and finally the name Aragami. In the face of the enemy completely immune to conventional weapons, urban civilization collapses, and each day humanity is driven further and further toward extinction. One single ray of hope remains for humanity following the development of God Arcs, living weapons which incorporate oracle cells. Their wielders are organized into an elite force in a world. Oh, this is kind of cool. I hope, okay, if the action scenes look good because this picture doesn't really describe anything. There's a video, but you know what will happen if I click it. Um, yeah, this looks pretty cool. Well, it sounds pretty cool. I mean, if. It doesn't say uh, what genre it is or or whatever or type of anime, but it looks it sounds good. I mean, it's the main reason I wanted to watch it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, when I first looked it over, it reminded me kind of of like that style of like I always talk about it. I know, but I really loved Guilty Crown and Tokyo Raven, so I've been looking for another one to fit that third spot. So uh, this one looks kind of like something similar to that, those kind of anime shows. Um, okay, this one I already wanted to watch. I have been, I saw like the, the anime news network posts about it. Um, I guess it's based off this manga here. It looks really cute. What? I'm a sucker for cuteness, and it's slice of life comedy, so it's my weakness. Um, the sibling gag comedy manga centers around Umaru Taihei's little sister, who boasts beautiful looks. As well as prowess and both school, in both school and sports. However, Himanto's beautiful little sister has a certain secrets. Ooh, it looks cute. I'm gonna watch it, even if you guys get mad. It looks really cute. Um, dude, a lot of these start like the same week. Uh, if you guys don't start with me, we're gonna get flooded with too many anime shows. So. Okay, so that's one. Um, if this live stream gets all like corrupted or something, I don't know. I never tried really this YouTube live stream thing. So if anything goes wrong, I'm, and I don't like it, I'll upload a recorded version because I'm also recording this at the same time. So, oh yeah, so Talk of Weekly was originally gonna be like a news thing, 
Um, but uh, you guys didn't really seem to enjoy. I don't blame you. Um, you can just a lot of stuff would be easier if you just looked it up. So like, I rather make this into kind of I guess like a podcast kind of thing, where I can talk to you guys about things that I'm interested in. So we, so maybe I'll start talking about news later, but probably not this video. I'm still kind of testing Otaku Week. I'm just playing around with the formula. So let's keep looking. Um. Oh, in case you guys wanted to know, that's this is the website I use. Mainly because it has the dates and it's just so... Dude, if you ever want to make a website, it's all about the user interface. It's got to be nice, smooth, silky, pretty, everything. Because, like, no gripe against my anime list, but that thing looks so plain. It's like the internet in 2002. Um, so, let's look at this one. This one. I already know, we already know about this one, and it's a season 3, so we're not going to click on anything that, that is like a second season, except we're not on Beauty Repeat, okay, it's a weakness, hate me all you want, but I will hands down say non Beauty is the best slice of life anime ever created, it defi- if you want to know slice of life, non Beauty. that's all I gotta say, but we'll talk about that in a little bit, and I'll probably make a review or what is non Beauty or something sometime soon, I want to, but I don't want to like, rush anything. So let's read. The romantic comedy centers around Ash, Asash, it's bleh, Asahi. <laughs> Why couldn't I say that? Kuromine, Kuromine, who has a crush on a cute girl named. Oh wait, that's a guy, right? Let's just make sure. No cast. Okay. I will probably guess he is the guy. Um. So he has a crush on a girl. Who, look at her face does does that not look like um what's that anime called does that not look like mm, future diary uh look at her face that's scary that's some scary stuff she me death okay just happens to be a vampire what okay death is a vampire uh uh, right, Shini, is Shiragami? No, wait, Shinigami is death, right? Eh, I'm guessing Shiragami is the girl's name. Yeah, oh, I'm so dumb. I think Shinigami is death. Like, the skeleton with the scythe. Anyways, that was my mistake. So she's a vampire. Asahi cannot, yeah, that's a guy name, I think. Cannot keep a secret, but he is determined to keep Shiragami a secret anyways. Okay, I'm hoping that this is kind of follows Defrag's kind of steps, you know, because Defrag was freaking amazing. Oh, there's people commenting. Yes, I've heard of Cord Code Geass. Um. Oh, sorry if the stream. Uh, sorry, my internet isn't the best. Here, I'll, I'll adjust it. Let me adjust my stream really quick, guys. Um, I'm gonna change the stream, so give me a second, guys. Because it says it's going... It only says it's going good, but then it says it's going bad on my side. I'm gonna change it to a lower quality so everyone can watch it. Don't worry, I'll re-upload another um, version like a regular video as soon as this loads I'm gonna change it to a lower quality give me a second give me a second we're gonna change it to 480p so everybody can enjoy it oh I can't apparently oops well I can't change it I'm sorry guys Okay, I, I cannot change it. I can try to adjust the encoding to 2500 kilobits. Alright, I changed the encoding. Hopefully that it goes better. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, hold on. 
Where? Wait. Oh, this one. Let me just apologize. Alright, well, don't worry guys, if you guys can't see it, I'll re-upload it later. Um, alright, so let's continue. Uh, let me just switch back to the chat. So, Jitsu... So this anime, I'm probably gonna consider watching it. Uh, mainly because I'm hoping that it follows the defrag steps. Continue onwards! So... In this story, the everyday lives of nine superpowered siblings of the royal family are monitored by 200 surveillance camera. What? The people in the nation who are watching the broadcast will have the ability to. A story focus Akane, the third oldest sister who can manipulate gravity. She is shy, desperately, does not want to be caught on the camera. Um. What is this anime even about? Oh, July 3rd, so many anime shows are going to start to... It's a slice of life. Um, okay, I don't want to be rude to those who might be excited about this, but this one looks the most generic out of the bunch. I'm kind of meh on this right now. It doesn't really... So, it doesn't really seem to have like a lot of story or anything like that. So, I don't really know what what side I reside on right now um, let me just apologize to this guy I feel so bad for him he really wanted to watch the stream so this one is on the mess side. Like I said, I'll add it to my watch list, but uh, if it doesn't seem that good, it, there's not really like a lot explaining it. Not even like the cast or any songs. And it's coming. It's like one of the most fast anime anime shows coming out like this month. Okay, that's weird. Um. Okay, so this one is maybe. Well, it's a guess. Only because I hope that it's like defrag. If it's not, then I'll probably won't watch it. Um, this one is a meh. Okay, let's continue. Where did I leave off? This one and then that one. Okay, we're not gonna click on this one because it's a third season. Um, JC staff curse you. No Sakura Soul season two, three. Two. Okay. We're almost there, guys. We're gonna have to skim through a few of these, I guess. Um. It looks okay, I guess. Oh, sorry. I should have been reading that aloud. Hamachi Private School was revered as the and elite all-girls boarding school so it's once upon a time. But with the new school year comes a revision of the school policy. Boys are to be admitted into the student body for the first time ever. But on the first day, Hachimitsu Kiyoshi Fujino discovers that he's one of the five boys enrolled at this school. Their numbers overwhelmed by thousands of girls' student body. Is it heaven or hell? Await. Oh, is it heaven or hell that awaits these five unfortunates? Fortunates? Okay, the, the explanation of this made me kind of want to watch it. I, I think it's going to be funny, right? It doesn't really say. Okay, if there's comedy here, this could be actually a really good anime show. This is the first one, right? Yeah. Interesting. It's going to air in 11 days. July 11th. Wow, this week? This coming week and next week, right? No, not this week, but the next week. This is going to be pretty cool. There's going to be so much anime. You guys better watch some of them with me, because like I said, if you guys don't watch a lot of these while they're airing, you're going to fall so behind. 
Okay, so this one is uh, probably gonna try to watch it. It's it just if it's funny, I'm probably really sick with it too. Um, the story. Okay, the name is so long. The story is set in a world where humanity, driven off by the land of the threat of magical armored insects, now live in aerial floating cities. Thus, wizards, aerial combat mages who might who fight. I say might. Uh, who fight the insects with magical powers came into being. Okay. Okay, see, you, when I make my, my review about... I already recorded it, but when I finally make it and publish it, the... Um, irregular magic high, the regular magic high school review. This is what I mean. If you guys watch it, this is what I mean by generic. Like the story. I'm not saying this about anime. I'm just saying like in that in that video, I talk about how it seems generic, the magic high school one, but it's it's a little more different the way they explain it. This one is like one of the ones that aren't that different, and that doesn't define that it's a bad anime series or show at that but what I'm saying is that this sounds like a lot of what I've heard in the past magic mages the magical powers came into being they're really cute um, they fight insects this seems more like on the itchy side of things but I don't know there's a video but I'm not gonna click on it because you know what's gonna happen is a young man who lives in a floating wizard academy mm-hmm he was once celebrated as a Black Master Swordsman. Mm-hmm. The Elite Ace. Okay, this seems, a lot of this seems really common that I've seen in the past, but... Traitor, one day he is assigned as instructor. S O. Oh, wait. The team that has suffered tensions at the EO6... Oh, so... So he they, he's like a really good fighter, and then like this mage... These three mages are in a group who like, I guess, basically suck? So, wait, so, sorry, I was reading a comment, <laughs> so I guess like this is like pretty much about a teacher who's really good at something and these kids are bad. This could be pretty funny actually, um, I was a little mad about it at first because it seemed pretty generic, I thought it was, and I, even when they're generic, I still watch them. Um, I'm one who enjoys pretty much any anime show. I'm just gonna point that out. I can almost enjoy any show. If I don't enjoy a show, chances are it might not be that good. But that's just an opinion of mine, right? Um, I try my best to enjoy every show. I try to see every show for what it is. I mean, sure, sometimes things sound the same, but you can't compare everything to everything else. You should review it as a standalone thing a lot of the times because unless they clarify, like, yeah, we made this anime because we love this other anime or manga, then I guess you can kind of judge it. But I, a lot of times I like to judge the work for itself rather than comparing it to every other show. But I mean in terms of the work. I will compare it when it says like mages or like... I will complain... Complain? I will compare it based on the genre and the style and stuff like that. But my overall opinion of entertainment comes from the anime alone. Not like this has nothing to do with the other anime, so my entertainment via this anime will not be involved comparing it to another anime. That's why a lot of the anime series that I will be reviewing, you'll notice that the inter entertainment value is higher than the score because yes, I had to compare it to another anime show, but I'm not going to compare my entertainment towards it versus another one because it, it's not the same. But anyways, that's for another time, right? This anime looks pretty interesting. Um, I hope you guys watch it with me. Like I said, we have to watch these all at the same time, because if we don't, you're going to fall behind. Let's go to the next one. Um, well, I'm not one to usually say anything, but yeah, they even like put like light effects on it. Like those, they're not pink circles, but they're like white circles. Um, it's comedy, edgy, fan. Oh, okay, harem. Okay, I like harems, I guess. Monsters, they're real. They want to... Hey, what? <laughs> this sounds like a fetish. Monsters, they're real. They want to date us. Three years ago, the world learned that... I thought I said herpes. Herpes, centaurs, cat girls, and all manners of fabulous creatures are not merely fiction. They are flesh and blood. Um, and I'm going to skip through some of this. When... 
hapless human teenager named Kudoso is inducted as a volunteer in the government of Chinchua Round. His world turns upside down. Named Melia to live with him. Okay, this this is like a harem, but like with kind of like furries, I guess. Not furries, but like elves and s snake people and angels. Eh, I'll watch it, I guess. If it's good, I'll stick with it. This is on the mail list, just saying. If it's not good, I will drop it. So let's close a few of these so we can get back to the list. Yes, finally. I'm not... I think I probably should save Nanan Beauty for last because um, this one looks kind of eh. I know if it's good, if you guys watch this one and it's good, let me know. But every time I see stuff like this or even this one looks kind of meh, but I'll show you like like that or like this one. I've had a lot of disappointments in the past. Um, so I'm very skeptical when it comes to shows that have like action covers like this. You can tell that it's all about the action. Um, so let's so I'm gonna skip this one though I'm gonna go to that one um, this one this one oh my gosh yes this one uh, <laughs> this one and oh my god spring leftovers do not count I will say that now but I will tell you if you guys are planning to watch some ninja slayer animation that one's good Ottawa mono Katari, that one's really good. And the last one over there, I haven't watched, but it's on my watches. Also, the disappearance of Yuki Chan or whatever, Nagato Yuki Chan. That one, I heard a lot of good things, so those are the ones I recommend. But I'm not going to look over them. And then, you know, the rest. All of these stuff. Um, those don't count. So let's go back up. Um, where did I leave off? Sode wa. Okay. Doesn't count second season. Doesn't count. Um, although if you guys can explain to me how to start these two in order as well, I would be inter eternally grateful. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know where that's from. Um, once again, an action um, scene. Also shonen. If you guys tell me this is good, I will consider looking into it. But remember I told you, when, it, when I see these action covers, I've been disappointed so much in the past that I kind of grew numb to them. I go I kind of roll my eyes when I see them so yeah um, Venus project climax okay and working I'm saving working and non and beauty last um, oh wow so much info an anime inspired by late author whatever I don't even know his name maybe I should maybe people are gonna get mad um, it looks the okay honestly that looks like early Photoshop edit stuff like oh yeah Add those glow effects to those butterflies. I'm not gonna be that picky though. I'll consider it only because it's by Aniplex. And Aniplex brought me Blue Exorcist, and I expected it was gonna be kind of eh. Blown away by that anime. That anime is amazing. Okay, so that's gonna be on the meh list. Um, by the way, if you guys have a hummingbird, I, on my YouTube channel, I put like on the about, like my hummingbird thing. So we can watch, every time I watch like an episode or something, maybe we can like discuss it together or something if you guys want to follow me on that. So this one's going to be on the meh, mainly because that video looks kind of cool and it kind of reminded me of, um, I can't remember, but also kind of Chunibio, like when he goes to Dark's Flame Master or whatever. This one's on the meh. I don't really know much about it. I'll watch the video later. Um, there's just so much anime to watch right now. Compared to the rest, I'm kind of meh about it right now, mainly because no description. Um, the main what when the magazine awoke death's darkness the deity fate chose six heroes beneath the power to save the world boy who proclaims himself as strongest on earth I see girls um heroes of six flowers and here goes the randivus point by seven have gathered there that heroes suspect that someone among the seven is an enemy this is not supposed to be funny is it it looks cute Oh, that, there's a guy. Wait, are these all guys? Oh, they look kind of girly. This one especially. That pose. Okay, this one looks interesting. Like, I've always seen about, oh, the chosen heroes and so on and so forth. But turning one is against them? That's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, this one's on the actually going to watch list if you guys want to watch it with me. Remember, Hummingbird, you guys can see what I'm watching. We can discuss together or on Twitter too. Uh, after the frontier incident, 
I'm gonna skip the beginning part up to right here. When she hears of this enemy, that's right, hurries back home from England. Is this an action anime? The situation. Wait, I'm gonna read a little bit more on top. That doesn't explain anything. Will the mysterious technology sense? So it's like a. This kind of reminds me of Data Live. Um. Action music sci fi. The music part kind of caught my attention. i never seen a music anime like this. Although, I think it's Angel Beats kind of like that. I haven't seen Angel Beats. I know you guys are going to kill me. I just heard it's so sad and I don't want to really get that sad. <laughs> um, July 4th. Interesting way to start um, 4th of July. This is on the mail list. Mainly because it kind of reminds me of Data Live. But I kind of like Data Live, so I kind of want to watch it. I'm saying man because compared to the other ones on the list that I have to watch, I will probably look at look towards this one. But don't hold me on that. Um, if you guys watch it though, and you guys can show me some cool, tell me some interesting plots about it that can convince me to put it from the actual watch. Because look at the dates when this whole week is gonna July's first week is gonna be friggin' packed. I don't even know how I'm going to watch a lot of these. So we'll see. I'm going to have to push my life aside for a moment. <laughs> um, yes, I've been waiting for this one. Um, the novel story is set 16 years after the law for public order and morals in healthy child raising. Banned coarse language in the country. I think it meant curse, right? Anyways. Tanukichi Okuma enrolls in the country's leading elite public moral schools and is soon invited into anti-societal organization SLX by its founder Ayame Kajo. As a member blackmailed into joining Ayame, Tanukichi ends up taking part in obscene acts of terrorism against talented student council president Anna, whom has a crush. Who? Oh, who the person has a crush on? July 4th. See what I mean? Same dates. We're gonna be packed. Comedy etchy. Okay, this one actually I do recommend you guys watch it. I saw I read part of the manga for it. I think there was a manga, right? I don't know. I read something online. It was a while back though. Before I think it was around not April. I think it was around May. I read something online about it. I think it was a manga or something, but it made me laugh like hard. Um so I ex I really expect this to be one of the funniest ones for the summer. Um, so yeah, this one's definitely on the going to watch. All right, so I hope you guys watch it too. This one I'm definitely gonna watch though. I'm not even kidding. So you guys better watch this one with me. I just can't like force you, but you better watch it. <laughs> so, uh, the original four panel manga centers on three rookie voice actresses. The manga features small but humorous observations of the voice actor industry. Not really explaining a lot. I mean, I guess it aired for a reason. It looks okay. It kind of reminds me of like Yuyushiki. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, okay, I guess I'll probably watch it. It's on the meh compared to the rest, mainly because working and non and which are coming up soon. Um, okay, I'll probably watch it. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is kind of on the map, but because it's comedy and it kind of looks like you do, UD and Yuyushiki, I'm kind of interested. Um, I hope. Um, and also kind of reminds me of Soid or Not. I know you guys don't like Soid or Not, but those who haven't seen Soid or and have watched these kind of anime shows, um, I do agree that Soul Eater kind of rode on the Soul Eater name. Soul Eater not rolled, rode on the Soul Eater franchise name, which is why a lot of people get mad about it, and I don't blame them. They, they did so much fan service in that show that I don't blame if people get mad about it, but I did enjoy it. Um, okay, this one's on the main, but I probably will watch it if I have time. This is probably going to be like one of the top ones if I have time to watch. Um, I think. There's just so many I can't really recall. We'll see how it turns out. Um, Venus Project Climax. They really like that word over there in Japan. Venus Project tells the story... Wait, is this like a season two? Six episodes? Okay, actually, if it's okay, I'll probably watch this one. Story of idols living in Japan in the near future. In this world, 
data devices and video technology have been progressing in new heights and people are abuzz about the new form of entertainment formula venus is formula venus for fv or fv the chosen top idols to battle life oh it's like a singing thing that's kind of cool i did i played um the idol master game on my on my ipad i liked it a lot july 12 and it only has six eps how's it gonna go that far for with six, july like that's like three weeks what's august how's it gonna last that long i don't know but maybe they're gonna do it every other week I'm not sure that's kind of interesting because like six apps there's like eight weeks in between these dates right six at least maybe wait is there six there's like three weeks in july from july 12th and then we got september oh wait september i, I was reading october for some reason oh no that kind of makes sense then never mind um Still not a, it's not going to go for that long compared to the rest of them. So I'll probably, this one's also on the high list of the meh. If I have like time, I'll, I'll definitely probably watch this one. Mainly because I enjoyed the Idol Master game I played. Um, yes, Not in Beauty Season 2. Guys, like, you have to watch it. Not in Beauty is probably the definition of what slice of life means. Um, yeah, I haven't, I can't say anything else. Not in Beauty is just, don't expect extreme comedy like defrag expect like like awkward live moment comedy i guess it's just like imagine what's it like living in the country um it's just so cute it's cute it's funny um it's so the best way i can say it's so slice of life man it's like that's the definition of slice the of slice of life you kind of just see the the life through their perspective on where they live which i thought was it's funny, it's cute, silly. It's never boring. I will promise you that it's never boring. I can't, well, I obviously haven't seen season two, but it's so hard. hard not hard. Um, it's so, <laughs> it's been long awaited for me. I was hoping it would come out this year and it did, so I'm so happy now. So yeah, this is something I'm looking forward to. Um, July 7th, the day after my birthday. It's like the best Christmas, best Christmas, best birthday present I could have gotten, to tell you the truth. Um, but to top it off, we got Working Season 3. I know, I'm sorry. I'm a hypocrite. I shouldn't have been saying, oh, I'm not going to click on the other seasons, but come on, guys. It's it's hilarious. And it's on July 5th, like a day before my birthday. Oh, it's so perfect. So this anime is hilarious as hell. You guys have to watch it. I don't know if you guys seen Season 1 or Season 2, but it's hilarious. Like, um... I don't know if third season says it all. I'm pretty sure like those other ones I talked about too earlier, Duda Duda and stuff, those probably well deserve their other seasons. Um, this show is just too funny. Um, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just hilarious. Basically, the the guy, um, well, the girl with the orange hair, her, she has like a, she's scared of guys, so like they're trying to like help her. I don't know, there's just like so much thing going on, but basically the funny part is that he, she always like beats the crap out of him, which is hilarious. Um, there's just so, all the characters are just so, oh my god, the cast of characters, it's just amazing, okay? No, this is not the guy from One Piece. Um, but yeah, please, if anything, if you could watch something, Wagnaria, please. Or, that's how it's known in English, but working is the way it's known in, um, Japan. Um, so yeah, that's the list of anime shows. For the summer, which it's a lot, like a lot, like this whole month we might be busy, and we last summer was even more. I still have like a crap load of leftovers from last summer. Um, which ones I'm really looking forward to? I guess it would be. Uh, Charlotte looks pretty cool. This one too, the Aharu X Kikanju. That one looks pretty cool too. Um, I know a lot of you guys are looking up looking forward to these two you guys are big fans of that um i, I saw a code geass comment but i don't see anything maybe it's like on the filler i'll scroll down and see if there's like any like ovas and stuff like that um okay i'm also for this one look kind of interesting mainly because we haven't had a, a good zombie anime that hasn't had boobs everywhere uh and if there is you guys should tell me because i have not seen one um gangsta I'm kind of interested, but it's okay. Um, okay, so for sure it's these two. And this one... Wait, this one? Gaku, Gudashi. So those are the three. 
God Eater is another one that's the fourth. Um, this one, I've been looking forward to that one. Himoto um, Umaru-chan. So that's five. Those are the... But I'm going to see if any down here can push that one of them down. Oh yeah, duh. Okay, so... Replace these two. Ah, no. I'm, uh, I can't choose. Okay, I'm just going to... Sorry. From the top five, it's just going to go to the top whatever. Nanabiori, number six. Um... Let's see, this one looks interesting. Roka no Yusha, number seven. Shimoneta to this one. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. The one ends with Sakai by JC Staff. Cause I read some I read something funny about it online like two months ago. So that's number eight. Uh and working, number nine. And I guess if I had to pick a number ten, it would be How about this? You guys can pick which one's number 10. Duda Duda or the Fate Collide one. Clyde. K Kalade. Duda da da. Sorry, not Duda Duda. Duda da da. Oh, I gotta yell it. Duda da 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 da. Times two ten. What? What the hell? <laughs> Times two ten. There you go. X two ten or something. Um, I know you guys are. Oh, you guys should decide which one of these three deserves the top ten that I should see, and whichever one gets the most comments or likes. I'll start. I'll add that to my watch list because I know I need to catch up. Not Dragon Ball though. I'm not gonna catch up on Dragon Ball, but I'll watch it. I'm not really considering watching it right now. Um, but if you guys can pick one that I should catch up to to watch and give me a list in order which way I should watch it, I will add it to my list of a not meh anime. All right. So let's see. I saw someone say Code Geass, so I'm gonna look down. Code Geass, Code Geass, Code Geass, Code Geass, Code Geass, Code Geass, nope, I don't see anything about Code Geass anywhere. Um, oh, this one looks cute. What, what is this? It's like TV shorts? Oh, okay, maybe I'll look into this one and this one. This one looks kind of creepy. Some of these look really cute. Um, this one looks kind of cute too. Some of these in the bottom look nice, actually. All right, but that they don't count as anime shows because they're shorts. Um, the movie, I know some. I'm probably gonna watch that. Yes, I like Naruto, but before, oh, you're right, Code Geass, the movie. Holy crap! Wait, is that a movie? Is this a, yeah, it's a movie. Um, oh, that's it. Okay, I know you guys are probably cramming your pants for this one. Um, I'm probably gonna watch it too. But it doesn't count as an anime show. I'm just going to point that out. Also, Data Life movie, I'm going to watch that. The Boruto one, I'm definitely going to watch. Mainly because I want to see what happened to Sasuke's arm. Um, oh, this looks cute, too. Oh, wow. The, oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so many. It's too much to watch. We won't be able to watch these, though, because they're going to be in theaters, aren't they? Or are these going live on television? I don't know. Um, I'll look into that later. If you guys can comment and let me know. Oh my god! Yuri Yuri OVA! How could I forget? How could I forget? I can't add it on the list, unfortunately. Yuri Yuri, guys. Come on, Yuri Yuri. Also this one. I know you guys are probably looking into that one, too. Um, but Yuri Yuri! I forgot about Yuri Yuri. When does this air? It doesn't say. <laughs> we need a new Yuri Yuri season. We need a new Yuri Yuri season. Anyways. Alright, guys. The music has ended. As you guys can tell. And so will this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you guys watched it live. I know I'm having some streaming issues. Uh, I see one person watching apparently. Or I don't know. This thing doesn't really update that good. But I did promise that I'll upload it. Because I know you guys were having trouble with that. I'm sorry. Um, I tried uploading at 720p. I probably shouldn't have. Well live stream. So from now on I'm going to do live streams at 480p. And I'm going to do the... I'm going to upload a HD version. Um, okay. Anyways, this has been April Otaku, guys. Thanks for looking over the anime with me. And I don't know how to end this. <laughs> um, I am working on some new review stuff, too. Also, I finished a lot of those anime shows, like Nisekoi. The, I have a lot to say about that. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? And... Um, what other one? Oh, and my team romantic comedy comedy snafu too. That all of those I watched. So 
yes, I will be doing trying to do a review on them. It's hard to edit them, um, but I will try my best. I'm also working on a collaboration with another YouTube. I think YouTuber. I think you guys know him. I'm not gonna say it though. I want to keep it a surprise. But um, yeah, that'll be happening too. Probably all of that's gonna happen this month. As well, I'm gonna be shooting out as many first impressions because I know a lot of you guys are interested to hear probably some opinions on what I think about a lot of these. And probably a lot of you guys want to flame me to death for liking some of these that seem pretty generic. All right, guys. Well, this has been a bit of Taku. Jana, the stream's gonna end. Oh no, bye. Wait, it didn't end. End, damn it. I don't know how to stop it. Nande bayo. Nande.